All right, what up? So I want to build a simple world, just like a like a cool, comfy or a chill hangout space that's similar to like the quote unquote comfy worlds you see a lot. I really like those worlds, so I thought I just I would make one. I just want to do something quick, so I figured I'd record it and show everyone. And I think it'll be a really good resource for anyone who's trying to learn how to build. Uh, I think it would be a stretch to call this a tutorial because I'm gonna like. I'm going to go really quick with it and just kind of do my thing and try to commentate and talk along about what I'm doing for anyone interested. Also, whatever I build, I, I'm not going to upload it and make it public online. I'm going to, if you want it, I'll, I'll have it below so you can like download it and then you can do whatever you want with it. But yeah, so all the assets I use and everything that I'm going to be using and putting in this world is going to be all free asset stuff. So I'm not like sharing anybody's shit. But yeah, okay. The first thing I always do is download pro builder because that's what i use to model right now you want the one by unity technology so i usually get i get pro builder uh, pro grids and uh, poly brush all right uh to get the pro builder tools out you just go to tools uh pro builder and window and then it gives you this guy I just print them right here i don't really have a plan i've got an idea i think um I think I'm going to do like a, a cylinder ground, or like, so it's like a circle with like a cement texture on it. That's not really a plan. This is kind of <laughs> All right, I'm just going to start building. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's make it 20. Mm, 20 might be too small, so let's do 30. Maybe 40. That seems good. I definitely want like water around it. So, so my my idea is I'm gonna have a building in the center here. Something real simple, mirror. I don't know if I'm gonna put a camera in here. People have fun with cameras though. Maybe a video player. Maybe I'll just put music in the world itself, so that way we're not dealing with all the issues that video players bring. Um, as we go out, I, I I was thinking of having like a little river like in the platform, and then maybe just have put down a collider all the way around here so that people can walk out. Usually how you can do it in a normal, quote-unquote, comfy world. Some nice music, add some nice particles. So I'm just going to start building this thing out. I'm going to do the like little river that I have in my head. So if you don't know what I just did there, though, um, I'm using the face option with the Pro Builder tools, and I'm just selecting all these faces by holding Shift. If you press R, you can scale, and if I hold Shift, it lets me extrude. So I'm just going to extrude in just a little bit, bring that there, and I'm going to do it one more time. Select all these faces here that I just made, because this is going to be my river. Quote-unquote river. It's just going to be like a little water thing. I wonder, though, is that too small? How about that? That seems good to me. If you press W, it takes you back to the, the little um, arrows and not the scale option. Or the position tool, I guess. So I'm just going to select all these. And then um, if I grab this, hold shift, I can extrude down. And now that will be like where I put the water. And actually right now, I'm going to add a... Let's just do 300 by 300... So a lot of people really like to make sure that they're naming their stuff properly so that, you know, you can find it, find what you're looking for. I really don't care to do this because I'm making a bunch of shapes that I just want to get in there and I don't want to worry about naming, even though it's it's probably it's probably good practice too, but um, I'm just going to say fuck it. And I always, I always just make like a skeleton thing, which is like the whole build. All, like all the shapes I make to build whatever I'm building, I just put it in a skeleton thing so I know that it's there. And if I need something, I usually just open this up. Then I press the thing I need, and it highlights it over there. So that's how I do it. I'm also going to take this and turn that off. So there's So with every Pro Builder object that you make, it comes with a mesh collider. So uh, so now, since this plane, even though I turned off the renderer for the plane, the plane is still there and the collider for it is still there, which is this green line here. That's the collider. Or I think that's the collider because usually it's green. It looks a little weird, though, but planes are weird. So there is a collider there. So if your avatar were to walk off the edge here, he would 
or it would still walk around on this thing. So that'll look nice once we put in a uh, skybox that I'll, I'll look for. So I'm going to start working on the building here. Like I said, I don't have an idea. One thing I like to do is I like to make a cube. Um, bring it in and then just duplicate that cube. So I don't have to keep going to the new shape and building something. A uh, good thing to note is that I use these cubes for scaling as well. A cube is one meter tall, and the just for reference, the blue avatar that the, the like the loading screen avatar, that person is or that avatar sits at six feet, which is like one point eight meters. So, um, two of these blocks on each other is like a normal person, or it's usually it's probably going to be taller than most people. And then most avatars are way smaller than that. Most of them are usually around. 411 to like 53 unless it's like a normal avatar. <laughs> uh, or most of my avatars are around that height. So I'm not my avatars definitely won't be coming up that high. But but it, the, the cube is good for scale you can use. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bring this down. Usually when I move things, I'm holding control and control lets me move things at a half um um, half meter increments, which is what I have it set to. I think by default it's one meter increments. If I press this thing here in the progress window, it locks it to um, to the grid, so I'm not like in a random spot. All right, so that's the middle. Okay, that's the middle. Not quite sure what I'm doing. Just gonna build this out. I'm thinking this back wall, or I'm thinking this will be the back wall to the building I'm building. This is where we'll put the mirror. So it's a pretty big wall. Maybe it doesn't need to be that big. Or it can it can be that big, but I don't want it to just be a giant wall. Oops. So I'm actually going to bring this over here. By the way, to duplicate objects, I'm using Control D. Control D, copy that. Let's move this over here. I'm gonna select both of these, copy them, bring this up, do it again, so bring that in one more time. Look at that. Select both these back faces so we don't see it coming out the back here. Oops. I'm going to duplicate this again. All right, so the big problem with doing it like this, now I have these faces uh, clipping each other, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to bring this in just a little bit and just kind of make it part of the design, I guess. I'm gonna duplicate that, bring that over. Boom, that's pretty cool. Look how modern. If you look over here in the hierarchy, you can see how the names are like getting weird now because it's just a bunch of cubes. So I got I got 13 cubes in here. But it's like I don't like people who name all their stuff, it's like what do I what do I even call this cube? Aesthetic extrusion one I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna do some more work on this cylinder. And if you're new, if you're new to like modeling, especially with Pro Builder, it's like this stuff is so like once you know how to do the thing, it's it's kind it's kind of easy. I don't know. I'm like I'm not doing anything too difficult here. I'm just taking shapes. I'm just gonna take this down like just a little bit. 
So now, now there's a space between our building and the floor. But I did that on purpose because I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to bring it back up. Now our building's back on the floor. I'm actually just gonna bring this in just a little bit so now it, it curves off. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Okay, you can see all this lighting being like weird as hell and you can see down here that it's, it's actually trying to bake. That's because I didn't go in here and turn the baking off. So if you go over to Windows, Lighting, Settings, and go, it's just all like, fixed itself. I'm just going to turn this off because I don't want it to keep doing that. Because it's going to get really annoying. Alright, I'm just going to go download some assets and start filling this thing up. Okay, now I have the skybox. I'm going to... Let's see where the... Oh shit, that's dope. Mm, I think I'm going to go with this one. Nice and subtle. Um, so I don't have to compress any of those images. Those are pretty good. Uh, if I go here, here, let's just show you. So first off, there's several images in here. And if we look at the size of this, this is 17 megabytes. Just this one image. So we're going to need to definitely compress them if we're going to use them in here. I want to use this granite one for the floor. That's really dope. Uh, if you notice, if you look here, you can kind of see how on this cylinder part, it like you can see the notches and stuff. We can get rid of that by using the smooth tool that's in uh, Pro Builder. So if I just highlight all these, it's probably a faster way to highlight all these, and I just don't know it too. <laughs> so yeah, if I just highlight all these and I hit smoothing, you get this little window up, and I just hit one, and it it. I don't really know what it does, but it puts it all in, like... It makes it so, that, like, the light that hits it, hits it all uniformly instead of, like, as individual faces. So it just comes off way smoother. And you don't see those little notches in between. I mean, you, you see... When we're looking at the top, you can see this is, like, one side, two side, three side. That's because it's not, like... It's not a bunch there to make it a smooth circle. But, I mean, this is good enough. I want, like, wood on this. And this. I think that'd be really cool. Like, what if I take... Let's duplicate this. If I take... Oops. Take that. Put it over here. And I can make this darker. Like, and maybe that'll work on that. And then stone or wood texture for those. Let's see what I can find for stone. Actually, let me look for brick. Now, I already had that downloaded, so I'm going to have to look and see what the, um, how big each of these images are. Because we may need to compress them as well. That's dope, I guess. Let's go here. Oh, it came with its own little shader, too. Let's see. Oh, show and explore. This is, this is not too bad. It's 5 megabytes. I'll probably I'll still want to compress that. I'm going to put down a light just so that we can see things a little bit better. Kind of see how light affects everything. A light, point light. It's going to make it something ridiculous. Oh, that's a cool one. Or, no, it's not, actually. <laughs> it's this one. Ugh. I can dig that. Is that cool? I don't know. Might be cool on this stuff. Kind of like that a lot more. Gonna make everything a little bit darker. Okay, so I, I do like that break over here. I feel like I need to make this uh, brighter. 
kind of want to make this different than the rest of the platform. So R, Shift, Extrude. Let's see, is it still on? No, it's not. Bam. So what should I make this floor? That's the question. What if I keep it the granite? Because I like the granite. But I take these. And I turn them into this color. No. This guy. So that would be this guy. Oh, it's at an angle. It looks at. It looks like ass. I guess it's fine for this purpose. Damn, I still want to change this to something else. What if I? What if I do this? You don't want to take it down that much. Bring it to that, and then you make this. Um, these I want to go back to being this darker color. I kind of switched those two granite textures around, but it's no big deal. Actually, I have an idea. So what if I I'm gonna make this little bevel here thing. The stone, same stone as this, same thing with the outside. And then I'm going to take this granite part, and instead of having it be the granite that it is, what if I just use a water shader on it and, like, turn it into water and make that the water thing instead of just this little moat out here? And then out here, I'll put... Okay, I have an idea. All right, let me do that. Okay, now that I... So I added that. I'm going to... I need to download a water shader. And... I already have one. My favorite shader that I use for water is called Silence Water Shader, which is made by <laughs> Silent. Or is it water? Oh, it's clear water. Okay. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is one of my favorite water shaders. This is available on the um, VRChat prefabs spreadsheet. Which you can get some from somewhere. Alright, so now that that's on there, I also need... I'm just going to make a new folder here. I need... Uh, let's do textures. I need a... I need water UVs and other things. And I have that in another folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that over. So there's my, um, my normals, and then I need foam. Just gonna bring that over. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna bring this here to make a new material. Right, we're gonna go back. Actually no, we need to go to silent clear water. Bam! Look at that. Now it's completely see-through. No? Okay. Um Alright. Oops. For this, I'm gonna bring this over here. And now, with the when there's light on there, now you can see the the waves and they're moving a little bit. Um, I'm gonna bring it onto this as well, and the foam over here. Ooh, that's not doing anything. I think it's pretty dependent on the directional light. Alright, so I got the water texture and shader thing on there. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on this whole thing. And boom. Wow, how nice. So, what do I have to do so far? I need to compress the granite uh, texture and I need to compress the brick texture here. Which isn't, I mean it's really, I'm going to take, I'm going to compress the normals and I'm going to compress the main 
image so that's, that's two image for each texture and these are technically the same images so it's really just four pictures I need to compress which isn't bad at all that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna hit this that's not what I want I want to show and explore I'm gonna open Adobe Photoshop show me this guy cool I'm gonna show and explore do the same thing open Photoshop. Here's the granite image. Show an explorer. Adobe Photoshop. All right, I'll compress this one. So if we go over here, you can see I've got all my um, textures in here. I'm just gonna go. I usually just do 200, 200. I just begin copy. There you go. And to save this, I'm just going to, I'm not going to save it in the same folder. I'm just going to go to my project folder, create an assets folder here, make a final texture folder, and I'll bring it into that new texture thing in the game, or in Unity. So save as, uh, chill hangout, assets, final textures. This is uh, granite, metallic. I'm gonna save it as PNG. Smallest. Cool. Then we're gonna do that. Let's turn that off. Oops. Copy. So I'm trying to resize this and still like up to keep all the like details that's in there. So I'm going to try 600 by 600 and we'll do a 300 resolution thing. Come on, oops. That's better, I guess. Assets final texture, we'll do granite. PNG, save. So let's see how, how big that actually turned out. almost a megabyte I'll deal with it and I'll, I'll, I'll just use this over here what is this brick PNG, save, OK, copy, break normals, cancel, okay, so let's save that again, break normals, PNG, yay. All right, let's see how this turned out. All right. So this is the granite. That would be that guy. Oops. All right. So let's bring this over here. And I'm actually just going to change this to none. So now all the images should be the images that we made cool and this guy I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna change this to none too because I don't want to use it then we're gonna go back to my textures we put that there then we're gonna take that put that there all right there's another asset I used in another world it was all these trees. Um, I really like those. So I'm going to look real quick to see if I can find that, which I believe was in. I'm going to bring this in. So this was a free asset on the. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, Loxer. It was this right here. So it is a free asset. 
It's just some dope trees. That's all. I'm going to put several of them around. And I'm going to change the color of the thing. I'm going to change the color of the leaves, and I'll show you how to do that. Same way I was compressing them. See if I can get these aligned. Let's turn this a little bit. I think I'm going to make them blue. Actually, you know what? With this tree. What's making it look white is the water shader that's there. Fuck. Alright, so if I go here, no, if I go here, look at that, I can see this, and I can show and explore, and I can go to open with Photoshop, and I'm just gonna, if I just go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, Let's make it blue. Yeah. And I'm just gonna save this in um in this folder. Let's do blue leaves one. And then if I go back over here, we can go here. Show and explore. That's not it. Show and explore. Open with Photoshop. Go to image adjustments. Let's just go here. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to documents, VR chat world, chill hangout, assets, final texture. We'll bring that in here. And we can just go bam. Now, this is not quite as bright as that. Let's see if we can fix that without going back into Photoshop. Look at that. It's pretty dope. Now, let's add some lights into here. By lights, I mean, like, let's get some neon stuff going. Put that. Let's make that real small. Let's bring this over here. I'm just going to put some simple, simple stuff in here. Duplicate that, bring that over. And then let's go to create material. We'll do light, and why not blue? Because we've been doing blue. Here's my directional light. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add a new one. Do bake. Take that off. Put one. <laughs> now you can see it. It's like actually working with shit. Uh, okay, let's go back to our foam. There we go. That's starting to look nice. Let's make the water a little bit bigger. We're gonna put some cubes down that we're gonna use as light. So let's create another one of these materials. White light. Uh, instead, we're gonna just put a couple of these blocks everywhere.
I'm gonna try to like space them out a little bit so like they make sense for where they are. Okay, so now I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and import the VRC SDK. So I already have it downloaded. If I go to my documents, I always put it in right here. I'm just gonna move that into there and let it do its thing. Okay, now we have that in. Let's go ahead and do other stuff. So the first thing I want to do is I want let's let's go to VRC SDK prefabs world VRC world. All right, so when you spawn in, you're going to be spawning and facing the um, the blue axis. So I like to turn that around. 180 degrees. Now, if, if you look at where is VRC World? If you look at it, oh, it actually turns. Sometimes the I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. But sometimes when you turn it, you won't get this. Um, you won't get the arrows pointing in the right way. It'll still say it's pointing the other way. But if you turn it, it will be oriented in the whatever direction you turned it. Uh, the other thing I want is my mirror. So let's rotate that. Oops. Where is it? Is it? Oh my god. <laughs> Did they update that? That's. Why the fuck is it actually reflecting? Alright, whatever. Just gonna make that big. Now, once again, the shortcuts that I'm using to move between all these controls is this is R to scale. Uh, w to get back to the move tool, and then um, E is to rotate. Okay, I want this as close as possible. Now I need to add toggles and some other things. Well, actually, first I want to go into this mirror. I want to optimize it oh okay I know why it's being weird I need okay this is what I'm doing I'm gonna go to VR chat SDK uh, show build control panel and let this come up and then um, it's gonna ask me to set up my layers that's why I can't see all the uh, the, the physics in the blah, 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 blah. can't see all my layers right now because um, I haven't set them up yet so you can do that by going to the VRC SDK uh, build control thing and I'll let that load. It'll take a second. There it goes. So set up layers for VR chat. I definitely want to do that. Do it. Set up collision layer matrix. Do that. And now since that's done, uh, I can X out of that. And if I go here, there's all my layers. Player local is not checked. Why would play player local not be checked? That's weird. Um, I'm going to just turn some things off. Because it doesn't need to reflect all of this stuff. I think player local needs to be on. That's weird. UI. I don't know what's on the water layer. UI does not need to be checked. Pick up objects do not need to be checked. Pick up the environment objects don't need to be checked. Oh my god. I guess these don't either. Some of these layers, I don't know what's on them. So if we t when we do the test, if there's um, anything like screwed up on it, we will just fix it there. So now that the mirror is set up, I can add my toggle. What do I want my toggle to be? Well, I want it to be a cube. Just duplicate that. Let's just go ahead and put it right here. Somewhere. Right here. Let's see what what textures do I have? Can I make it do something? Let's just create a new material. We'll just make it a color. Button color. We'll do. How about blue? I'll bring this down. Bam. All right. So I have. A, I'm gonna add a box collider to this. And then let's add our VRC trigger. 
We're going to want to do on interact. Where are you? On interact, add, press this for advance, local, add mirror. I'm going to take this out of the skeleton since it's going to have a trigger on it. Um, and then we want this. Oops. Oh, we want it to set game object active. And when we click that, we can grab this mirror, bring it down here, and we're going to go to toggle. And then I can hit this mirror, and I can uncheck that. So bam, now we have a button to turn on the mirror. What I want to add is I want to get I want to get like some particles in here, like lo little rainbow particles just kind of floating around. I'm not the greatest with particles because I haven't messed with them too much, even though I'm trying to mess with them a lot more. Actually, before we do that, let's do this. I want to put something under all these trees. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put this guy in there. I'm gonna duplicate that. Is that cool? That's pretty cool. Is that centered? Not even a little bit. All right, dope. So I'm thinking. Uh, I I know I got a directional light in here. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna. I'm gonna make some particles. Let's do that. Um, particle system. Look at that. Let's bring this out. So, if you've never looked at a particle system before, basically, there's all these. There's all these settings. You can make these do pretty much anything. So I don't mess with this a lot. So this is, I'm going to be slow on this, but what I want is I want it to do kind of something similar to what it's doing now. Or I want it to be like all over the place and little, little particles that are like a bunch of different colors. And I want them to just be like, like there, you know, does that make sense? I don't want them flying all over the place like they are now. So let's start messing with things. Ooh, neat. I don't know what that's doing. Shape. Oh, this is the shape of the... This thing. Let's change the side to point one. Okay, I need color, size over lifetime, size over speed, color over lifetime, that's what I want. Alright. That was easy. Now I need to slow this down. To point one. Oh shit. Where's my gravity? Alright, shape, angle. If I make this really big. Okay. So I'm here. I'm standing in the world. And I see. I get to see all these. Cool. All right, and that's my particle system. All right, one thing I don't want to forget to do is add my jump, so I'm going to go to add component. Oh, whoop. I want to add player mod. And I'm going to add a jump mod, and the default will be good enough for me. I will check this so that it actually works. You know what? I'm going to add some pens. Because why not? I like to use the snail pens, which is also another prefab that's in the prefab uh, spreadsheet that's all around BRCS. I don't know what that is. Import. 
Um, where is it? Where is it? Contents, individual, snail markers, prefabs, prefabs. Just give me the whole thing. I'm just going to put them back here. And since these are buttons and I made that material for that other button, let's make it match. Where's my textures? Button color. Yay. And one thing I definitely want to do is I want to take my little thingy cat logo. Cat logo? Yeah, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete that. Dude. By the way, what I'm about to do is the same thing you would do if you're putting a image in there. You make a quad. Uh, luckily, this quad is already the size of the image I'm putting on there because I made the image square. I'm gonna put it on there, and to get rid of that background and to get to get a background on a transparent image in Unity, you have to do you have to like go through a process in Photoshop, as far as I understand it. Um. But then you can just go to uncut or what's the shit? You unlit transparent cutout. That works. Most of these unlit ones, transparent cutout, work. You can also do UI, unlit, transparent, and what that will also do is give it a back as well with the image flipped, which is pretty cool and useful sometimes. So that looks centered. We're going to pretend like it is. I'm also going to turn off the mesh collider because we don't need one. Now if you download this, you can delete that or keep it there. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to download a song and add it. And if you want a song, you can just add your own song, I guess. So I'm downloading music right now, and while I wait for that, I'm going to add some light probes in here. First, I want to make sure my lights are set. Um, this is a white light. I wonder if I should make it blue. Do, 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 do. Or like, like, like a little blue tent or something. I don't know. Um, so that's set to bake. Uh, I take the indirect multiplier off because... Um, Usually when I'm setting up lights, I'm setting them up based on how the real-time light looks, and the real-time light does not have indirect multiplier, so when I bake it, I usually just keep that off so that I don't get any too crazy results that I'm not expecting. Uh, these should all be mesh collider. No, this is what I'm looking at. This should be baked. Let me go to my materials. Not there. Let me go to my textures where my materials are. If any of these have emission on them, they should be set to bake. So those do. Um, my directional light. Yeah, let me add a new folder called lights. Uh, no, not that. This is lights, point light. This directional light is set to bake as well. So I just need to add a some light probes. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring this over here so it's in front of the mirror. Um, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't really understand light probes. I have no idea what this does. Well, I, like, I know what it does, which is why I'm putting it in here, but like... As far as how, like, the proper way you should put them in here, I'm lost. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do stuff. I'm just gonna put it in here in a way that makes sense to me. And if you are someone who knows about light probes and what I'm doing is making you cringe, let me know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Look, that seems legit. I put one up here. That way, when you're in front of the mirror, you get seen, right? That makes sense. And then I just kind of put them everywhere. We're going to pretend like that's a thing and it works. 
Uh, Alright, my music is downloaded. I'm listening into it right now. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't think you can. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm, right now what I'm doing is... I am comp compressing my... The song I got. Because I just ripped a two-hour BGM piano anime music song video. So I just brought it into Premiere. And now I'm, I've cut it down to what I want it to be. And I'm just gonna export it. All right, and then let's go ahead and bring it in here. All right, and I'm just going to drag this over into the hierarchy so it plays as 2D all over the place. And let's just mess with the settings here. We're going to bring this volume down to 0.5 so it's not blaring in anybody's ears. We're going to loop it, play on awake, and that all seems really, really good. I'm going to add another button, though. I just duplicated the mirror button if I go down here I've got a trick I'm gonna do music toggle set game object active I'm gonna change the game object to the P the, the song and it should toggle the music now super simple this world's pretty much done I didn't do anything too crazy with it I just kind of put something down tested some things put in a mirror uh, there's really no pickup objects in here or anything but that's okay. I think this is a cool world. If you want it, there will be a download link below. I'm going to bake my lights now. You can see my cubes are getting off light now at the thing. Um, you can see the reflection in these materials because I, I, when you put, take the smoothing all the way up, it does that. Um, What I am not seeing are my my lines. Where are my lines? Okay, <laughs> I'm like your Sea Worlds in here. All right, dope. I'm gonna let's upload this and we'll test it out. So this is it. You can see the particles. Pretty sick. Got the blocks. Got the spooky thing. You should work. It's a dog bone. Damn. All right. Turns the music off. Turns the music on. Turns the mirror on. You can't see me. Of course you can't. Alright, All right, here we are, back in the thingy, so let's go to our mirror. Reflection layers, player local and player are both connected or checked. I'm going to do everything, and then I'm going to turn off the things I know for a fact. Or not me. Like the pickup objects, UI menu. I should be on player local. And with, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to see it. All right, here we are. Back in the thing, just uploaded. There we go. That's so weird. I wonder which one it was where you couldn't see. But, uh, yeah, it's done. I did it. It's like a three hour build. Not as fast as some people, but you know what? It's pretty good. I'm gonna use this world as the optimized world where I bring all the people with bad internet connections. It's pretty sick. I'm actually really digging it. 